In this lesson, we're going to talk about the six chords in the C major scale. So remember the C major scale, we got C, D, E, F, G, A, B. And then we numbered each one of those, getting our scale degrees, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that one we call the tonic in a scale. The main note is called the tonic. Now what we're going to do is build triads or chords or harmony from each note of the scale. And to build a triad, you need a one, three, five. And what this means is you're going to take the first note that you're starting on, then go up to the third letter and then up to the fifth letter. And we're only going to be using the notes of the C major scale. So let's start with the diatonic triads. Diatonic just means in the key of, so these chords are only going to be built from that one major scale. So let's start with the first chord. So if we start at C, C is the first scale degree, and now we're going to make that the root of our chord. So the main note of a chord is called the root. So there's our root, our one of the chord, and then we need a three, which would be E, and then a five, which would be G. And then if we play those three notes together, C, E, and G, we have a C major chord. So C major would be the one chord in the key of C because it's built from the first scale degree. And then we're just gonna go up the scale. So if we go to the D, which is the second scale degree, and now build a chord from that, a triad, we need a one, three, five. So starting on D is now the root, one, three, five. So now when we play that, D, F, A, we get a D minor chord. If you listen to that, it's kind of dark, kind of sad. Let's move to the next note of the scale, which would be E. E is the third scale degree, so this would be the three chord. So now we're going to build a chord from this. We need a one, so E is the one, the root of the chord. G is the third, B is the fifth. So now if I play that, E, G, B, right, it has that dark sound, so it's an E minor chord. So E minor is the third chord in the key of C. Then we're going to move to F. F is the fourth scale degree, and now we're going to build a chord from there. So F becomes the root of our chord, and we need a 1, 3, 5, so starting on F, A, C. Now if I play F, A, C, Right, You can hear it has that happy sound. So F major is the four chord in the key of C. Let's move to the next note of the scale. G is the fifth scale degree, and now we're going to build a chord from it, so G becomes the root, and I need a 1, 3, 5, but only using the notes of the C major scale, so G is 1, B is 3, D is 5. So when I play that chord... G, B, D, play it together, I have G major. So G major is the five chord in the key of C. Move to the next note of the scale, which is A. A is the sixth scale degree, and now we're going to build a chord, so A becomes the root of that chord, and we need a one, three, five, only using the notes of the C major scale. So A is one, C is three, E is five. And I play those notes together. A, C, E, and you can hear it has that darker sound, that's that A minor chord. Now when we get to the seventh scale degree, that one can be a little bit wacky. So we're kind of just going to avoid that chord for now. It is called a B diminished chord, B, D, F. But for now, just kind of put it in your musical theory junk drawer. Not a lot of pop music uses this. It's not a bad chord just for now. We're just going to put it to the side. So let's move on. So again, a little review. To build any triad, we need a 1, 3, 5. This is the letters we're talking about. And for this one, we're only building chords from one scale. So the first scale degree in the key of C is C. And then we need a 1, 3, 5 from there. So C, D, E, F, G. And when we do that, again, we get that C major chord. And then if we go to the second scale degree, which is D, build a triad from that, we get DFA, D minor. Then the third scale degree is E, build a chord from that, EGB. 
So E minor is the three chord. Then we go to the fourth scale degree, which is F. That becomes the root, so we need a one, three, five, F, A, C, which gets us an F major chord. F major is the four chord in the key of C. And then we go to the fifth scale degree, which is G. And to build a chord from that, we need a one, three, five, so G, B, D, which gets us a G major chord. The sixth scale degree is A, and we build a chord from that. We need a one, three, five, A, C, E. So the sixth chord is A minor. So again, we're just using the C major scale, and then from each note of that scale, we're needing a one, three, five to build a triad. So if we check it out here, we're going to talk about chord symbols. So this is how you're going to see it, like if you go on those guitar sites or on the web, and you type in a song, you want to learn the chords and the lyrics, you'll see these above the, the lyrics. So anytime it's just the root of the chord, that means it's a major triad. So this would be C major. When it has a little baby M next to it, that means minor. So that would be D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor. So C is the one chord, D minor is the two chord, E minor is the three, F is the four, G is the five, A minor is the six. So if you just say C chord or G chord, that means major. If you want someone to play minor, you gotta say minor. And you can also drop the uh, triad. You can just say play a C major chord or a C chord. Unless you know everyone's nerding out on, on the terminology, then go for it. But instead of using Arabic numbers, we use that for scale degrees, the single notes of the scale. We're gonna use another numbering system, the Roman numerals. And we're gonna number each one of those with Roman numerals. We're gonna replace those Arabic numbers with Roman numerals, and now the Roman numerals represent chords. So when you see these, they're actually talking about chords. So if you look at it, uppercase is major, lowercase represents minor. So you can kind of see, it kind of shows you what scale degree it's built from and the tonality of the chord, whether it's major or minor. So here we have the Roman numerals. There's a relationship between these. You can look at them as a family. So let's check out the Roman family. So you could think the one chord is mom, right? She's kind of happy. Two chord is dad. Three chord is brother. Four chord is sister. Five chord is grandma. And you can think that six chord is the emo cousin, right? He's a little sad, a little dark. And if you wanted to add that diminished chord in, you could think of that weird uncle that you don't even know if he's your uncle, so we'll just stay away from him for now. So really we have six chords. We have three major and three minor. So if you learn those six chords, you're gonna be able to play pretty much any song. So let's see how this looks on the keyboard. All right, so let's check out how these diatonic chords look on the keyboard. So again, we have the C major scale. If we number that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and back to one. So to build these chords, all we're doing is taking each note of the scale and that's going to become the root of our chord. And then we need a 1, 3, 5, so think letters. So if I start on C, and I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, play those three notes together, I have a C major chord. So C, E, G. All right, and then I'm going to go to the next note of the scale, which is D. Now that becomes the root of my chord, and then only using the notes of the C major scale, I need a 1, 3, 5, so starting on D, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I get D minor, D, F, A. Then starting on the third scale degree, 1, 2, 3, right, which is E, that becomes the root of my chord, I need a 1, 3, 5, but only using the notes of the C major scale, Starting on E is one, one, two, three, four, five. Play those three together, I get E, G, B. Going to the next note of the scale, which is F, the fourth scale degree. Now this becomes the root, I need a one, three, five. Going up to C major scale, one, two, three, four, five. Play those notes together, I get F, A, C. 
Then I go over to the next scale degree, which is G. That's the fifth scale degree, G. That becomes the root of my chord. I need a one, three, five. One, two, three, four, five. G, B, D. Get G major. Then go to the next note in the scale, which is A, the sixth scale degree. One, two, three, four, five, six. I need a one, three, five starting on A. One, two, three, four, five. I get that A minor chord, A, C, E. And then again, that last one, we're going to kind of just throw to the side. But again, starting on B, one, two, three, four, five. And I get a diminished chord. Now, this is like a minor, but it's this note here that makes it diminished. And that's a whole other topic. So we're just going to get rid of that last chord. The easiest way to play diatonic chords, especially in the key of C, is just skip every other note and just like you're going up the scale but keep that same pattern right that same distance every other note and there you have your diatonic chords diatonic just means the chords built from that one scale so easy song you could just start on one just play the chord go up to four one one two three four Four, three, two, one. One, two, three, three, two. So you got that lean on me. So that's how easy it is to write songs. So again, we're just taking each note of the scale and turning it into a chord only using the notes of that scale. So C, E, G is the one chord. D, F, A is the two chord, D minor. E minor is the three chord, E, G, B. F, A, C is F major, the four chord. G, B, D is the G major chord, the five chord. A, C, E is the A minor chord, is the six chord. And that's all we're going to deal with is those six chords. So practice those chords. And again, right now we're just going up the scale. But again, you could play a C here and then play a G down there. All right? You don't always have to go from here up. Remember, you can go backwards. Still, A minor here is the same as A minor here, just a different octave, higher or lower. So again, just practice. Spelling those chords, playing those chords. Don't worry about that last one. All right, practice doing arpeggios. That's where you break up the chord. Get those fingers going. And really say, spell out the chord, say what it is. And in the next video, we're gonna take these chords and make chord progressions.